that problem and um, the previous problem, well, we were just trying to find the rate. Here it is. Just find the rate. So here you're going to have, well, in this case, we end up having one pet. But um, let's look at another example of what we're just getting into, just finding the rate. For example, if we have, now I'm looking at problems 12 through 17 again. Let's say we wanted to write as a rate uh, in simplest form. Now notice it doesn't say unit rate, it just says rate. Uh, and we have 55 dollars for four pants. Okay, so we would write this as what? 55 dollars. Our units here is dollars over what would come next? Four pants, right. You have to write the pants out. Well, we can simplify that, right? Uh, well, let's see, or, or can we? In this case, we can. So, because 55, that's just 5 times 11, right? And 4, that's 2 times 2. So, we can't. So there's nothing that can cancel, right? So therefore, uh, our, um, our rate, we would just leave it as uh, $55 for four pants. So you see the difference between writing it as a rate and writing it as a unit rate? Writing it as a rate, you, you keep that denominator, whereas the unit rate, you have to go ahead and divide it out. So you can rate, sim go ahead. Sim rate, you just simplify. Simplify, right. The units, you're going to divide to get right. one, to get it to one. That's right, to get it to one, the denominator of one. That's right. So, so All right, that's where I'm listening. Okay, so we had to, for rate, unit rate, we must divide get a denominator of 1. I'm going to abbreviate denominator to 1 unit. Okay? And so we end up with, in this case, in this last problem, 22.5 22 miles over 1 gallon miles per, normally we say it as miles per gallon, but this is the technical um, unit uh, form for it. All right. Okay, any other questions with that? <coughs> Alright, on the next page, let's uh, keep going on the page here. We have uh, an investor purchased 250 shares of stock.